Oh, what's up, man? I didn't know you was in here. Why are you just sitting there? Yeah, man, I'm in here. Just trying to figure out or uh, come up with some ideas for a video. What's up? Oh, yeah, man, I forgot. Everybody want me to ask you, what is it that you want for Christmas this year? Are you kidding me, man? I'm so tired of hearing that every year. Like, just, I'm not hard to buy for. Just give me something that you think I would like, or give me something that I need, and boom. It's easy, it's simple, it doesn't have to be expensive. I can't go back and tell people that. You know, I cannot go back and say you don't know. And you already know, I've been hearing it because everybody's saying, oh, there's nothing to buy him, he already has everything, what are we going to get him, whatever we get him, he's not going to like, you know, so I got to tell him something. Well, just come up with something. You tell them what I want, how about that? You just tell them, give me what they want to get me. Alright, well you think about it. Hey, you, still, you need help on, on video? No, I don't need your help with the video. I got it. Yes. I got it. No, I'm the one that come up with all the fly ideas. You just be taking credit for it. What? Whatever, man. I'm out there. Man, how you gonna come in anyway asking me what I want for Christmas? I mean, come on, man. You know what I want for Christmas. I'm talking about he make the fly videos. We're the same person. I make the fly videos. He did give me an idea, though. What's up guys, this your boy E, Mr. Technical Misfit himself, and as you guys can tell from the intro, this is a gift guide video, but it's a gift guide video done the Misfits way. So if you guys are like me, you get tired of people coming to ask you every single year, what do you want for Christmas? This gift guide is for you guys, so make sure you actually share and watch the video, or excuse me, let's reverse that. Let's you watch the video and share it with the person that always asks you, hey, what do you want for Christmas? Or hey, I don't know what to get you for Christmas. Or hey, I can't get you anything because you have everything. This is the gift guide for that. Now, there are some parameters for this gift guide. These gifts are all under 150 bucks. And if you're, your family members like mine, it's not too late because they're going to wait to the last minute to buy you a gift because they're intimidated by buying you gifts. So watch this video. Make sure you share with that family member that always asks you that question. Or if you found this video and you're that family member that's always asking that other person, that technical misfit or that tech person what they want for Christmas, this video will give you some ideas. So we're going to jump right into the actual first gift idea. And for me... That is my Apple AirPods. Yes, I love these things. I didn't think I was going to like them at first, but they end up being something that I carry with me every day. This is why, brief, short, sweet, why you want to buy AirPods for your technical misfit. Number one, if they have an iPhone, it's a no-brainer. If they're in the Mac ecosystem, it's a no-brainer because it connects to everything. Number two, it does work with Android, you just lose some features. And number three, they're totally wireless earbuds with pretty decent sound. Not audio file quality, but they will give them something to jam out to and they go everywhere. You can work out, you can travel with them, you can do whatever you want. Battery life is phenomenal. These are actually about $149, $159, bucks, so it's right at the top of that list. But I guarantee you... They will love them. Second item that I recommend is an Apple Pencil. If you have a person that's in your life that has an iPad Pro and they do not have an Apple Pencil, they are missing out. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know what you guys are thinking. Apple Pencil is just for artists. Trust me. My daughter is an artist and she can draw. I don't have one artistry bone in my body when it comes down to painting, drawing, or anything like that. But what I do absolutely use my Apple Pencil for is annotations, being able to sign documents because with me being out in the field and working like I work, I hate paper, so I'd rather for something to be digitally signed. And it's just that much easier when you can hand your client a pencil, they can sign their name, it's legible so you'll know exactly who it is, and you can be out, out of the way. Everybody's happy, everything is done. So the Apple Pencil has a lot more uses than actual being an artist and being able to draw. Number three on this list, if they don't already have one, is 
this. Yeah, it is the Microsoft Xbox One Elite Controller. This controller is amazing. <laughs> I mean, I'm a PlayStation person, and I love PlayStation. I've been playing PlayStation, God, since PlayStation 1. But this controller here, it makes me rethink playing on the PlayStation. Because it's sturdy. I mean, the build quality is amazing. Microsoft did a really good job on that. And it's starting to force me to play games that I would normally play on my PlayStation on the Xbox just because I like using this controller. Now, this controller is a little bit on the higher price range. It is at that top, 150 bucks. A person that's a PlayStation but also has Xbox, picks up one, pick up one of these, I guarantee they'll start playing Xbox a whole lot more. So, that's number three, Xbox One Elite Controller. This fourth idea is so easy. I don't know like how people miss this one. This one is super easy to come up with. The fourth one is an external hard drive. That is a perfect gift idea for anyone that's a tech person. Like, you can never have enough storage. Like, I have hard drives everywhere. I have so many. I have a desk drawer full of just hard drives that I use and reuse and just for anything. I can plug them up to anything. The one that I have here is a four terabyte Western Digital hard drive. It's not anything special. It's the least expensive one that they actually make probably well in this size. But I got this thing for a hundred bucks. Yeah, one hundred dollars for a four terabyte. Like that is amazing. And with me shooting videos and taking photos and everything else that I like to do as far as hobbies are concerned and not pertaining to work and even pertaining to work because I can store documents and files on this thing. This is perfect. Like a hundred bucks. Boom, you got that tech person in your life that you think you can't buy anything for out of the way. Because I guarantee they will say, or they won't say, I don't need another hard drive. All right, guys, we down to the last gift. This one is easy. This one is easier than number four. So I don't know why you guys don't think of this one. But the fifth and final gift idea for your misfit, and like I said, it is under 150 bucks. Actually, you can find this one sometimes or find these under $50, so it's very, very easy. It's one of these. This is an SD card. If you don't know what an SD card is, like, seriously, just walk in any store and say, hey, I need an SD card, and they'll be able to point you to them. You can pick up one of these, at least a 64 gig. Don't be too cheap and get like a 16 or a 32. Don't do that. <clears throat> At least get a 64 gig because I promise you the tech person in your life will be able to use this thing over and over and over and over again. They will find so much that they could use this particular little bitty little piece of silicon with that they'll be forever grateful to you. Dude, there you guys have it. You have my five gift ideas that you can get the technical misfit in your life that you claim, hey, they're so hard to purchase for. I can't buy them anything because they have everything. So if you guys like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how this gift guide helped you guys out. And if you didn't like the video, you feel like I missed something on this video, hit a thumbs down. But leave it in the comment and tell me why you didn't like the video or what I missed so that way I can make the next video better for you guys. Again, as you know, all the time. Social media is all in links down below. Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter. And yeah, I don't use Twitter that much, but I do be on Twitter sometimes now. I'm trying to use it more. So that's it, guys. You know the saying. Until next time, stay ticked up.